What is this? I'm sorry, Carl. This is not the way I like to do things. And don't do it. What do you want from me? Your past. Listen to me carefully, Carl. You're about to enter the animus. What you're about to see, hear, and feel are the memories of someone who's been dead for 500 years. Wait a minute. Synchronization achieved. Commence regression. Hi, everybody. I'm Peter Travers, and this is Popcorn, where we tell you what's happening at the movies. And there's a movie now called Assassin's Creed, uh, based on the very famous video game. And it stars my guest, Michael Fassbender, who I have to say, when I heard he did this, I thought, wow, this guy is sold out. He's doing video game movies. I, I, you know, what's wrong with him? Has he just sold out to the paycheck forever? But now that I've seen it, I realize that it's a movie that actually has a mind and a heart. So it's great to have you here for this because I thought, well, I'm going to have to face him and say, is this another Jonah Hex? Yeah. What have you, what <laughs> you have did you it done? again. You, you did, did it again. again. This is what you've done. So it's tell a, me what made you get involved with this as not just an actor, but a producer. Did I say just an actor as if just, it was so meaningless? I mean, I'm pouring my soul yes, out there, Peter, you did. and it's, it's just so to you. Much. Um, you turn, you know, Irish and German a, on me on a dime. Yeah, I can't yeah. tell who the hell Which one are. is just yeah, coming to the room. I exactly. don't know which it is. Um, uh, I, I just sat down with the guys from Ubisoft. I'm not a gamer, so I'd never played the game before. Um, and I just had a lunch with uh, the guys from Ubisoft. And so all it takes with you is a lunch? A lunch. I'm, <laughs> you know, that's it. I was like, just take me to a good restaurant. It doesn't even have to be that good, actually. I, I think oh. we just uh, went for, um, no, we actually went for <laughs> Thai food. It's uh, nice. Pretty nice, yeah. Um, and they I thought you'd go to a pub or something. That's how I see This you. is how you see me. <laughs> Well, I have good reason. <laughs> okay, yes, yeah. I have good well, reason. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Last night I did have a few drinks. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, they just started to explain the world to me, the world, this sort of universe, uh, genetic memory. That was the first thing that really, um, you know, made me sit up and pay attention. This, the, the concept that within our DNA we've got the experience uh, and knowledge of our ancestors sort of passed down through the generations as a kind of uh, survival aid. Which uh, is fascinating yeah. and also really scary. And also really plausible. <laughs> so, yeah. You mm -hmm. know, it, it made a lot of sense to me. And, uh, and I thought, well, that's interesting to have something uh, anchored like that and re something so real uh, in a fantasy world is going to be very helpful for us. And then just the, you know, the world of Templars, yeah. sort of the idea of, you know, this sort of elite group in society that run the world, they're powerful, they're rich, they believe in science and order, and they also believe that some people should be enslaved. I, are you talking about our recent election here in the U.S. of A? Um, I just don't. It's sounding it's, very familiar. Yeah, there's familiar things there, <laughs> that's for sure. I, that's, that, that. Building walls around people, <laughs> taking away their free will. What have you done? Yeah. Yeah. I know. It's funny, isn't it, when you do something <laughs> fictional and you look at it and you go, okay, uh, there's some interesting <laughs> things here. Um, and then, of course, the assassins themselves. Who uh, are the good guys. We don't usually think of the assassins yes. as the good guys. Well, good guys kind of interesting. That was the other thing that, that really interested me in this world, is that it's a very morally ambiguous world. So there's no real clear good guys and bad guys. Uh, both of them, um, you know, compromise their ideologies. So, like, you know, for example, you know, the assassins basically are there to protect free will at all costs. Which I think is a good thing. Absolutely. You know, free we will, that. come on. Come on. <laughs> you know, you know, we uh, need it. We do need yes. it. It's essential. Yes. But they also say that they stay their blade from the flesh of the innocent. And, you know, the innocents get sort of caught up in their actions. <laughs> that's for sure. Some people die. Are you now a major gamer? Have you now been playing Assassin's Creed? Yeah, I'm actually entering I, into the competition of like I don't believe best a gamer word you're in the saying. world. I don't believe anything you're saying. <laughs> Pretty much. I don't know when you I would can have actually the time play it blindfolded. Game. That's the crazy thing. <laughs> because it's just <laughs> that close to yeah, you. Yeah, because I know it so well now. What? <laughs> liar, liar, pants on fire. <laughs> 
there's, there's no way that you're sitting there doing it. I just don't see no, it. No, I was terrible. I just kept like going into the corner and trying to crawl up a wall that <clears> yeah, was uncrawlable. I I uh, uh, and, um, well, we, but I I've got to it. talk about that because you, you did talk about genetic memory that yes. immediately you lost. You fell asleep part immediately. Part of your audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. They, you they were, were like, saying, oh God, genetic here memory? Yeah, yeah. You know, but in point of fact, this movie <laughs> is so full of, of action. Action. But when I said it had a mind and heart, I meant it. Right. There's something that you feel about because, you know, there's the poster behind you, which is uh, two you. It's an excellent you know, poster. It is an excellent poster. Yeah, sort of two faces, sort of, you know. Well, one of them separated by 500 years. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That you like, you leave out in your opening description. Well, I was getting about there, Peter. Kept, I mean, you, you kept getting it. You kept you interrupting gone me. You and start lying <laughs> about game plan. You know, I was in the middle you of explaining assassins. You shot me down. down. Okay. Um, uh, I'll shut up for for a few seconds. Okay. Yeah. Two timelines. Mm -hmm. uh, Two timelines. Yes. Present day, mm -hmm. and then w with the use of this machine called the Animus, which can access our genetic code, and in a way, sort of, we genetically time travel. It's like a it's like a genetic DeLorean. If you will. Well, it is. It's like yeah. a big arm, though. You're yeah. sitting but on not it. A, not in the video game. In the video game, it's just a, a chair. If you played the game, Peter, you'd know this. That it's a sort of like. It's, you it's don't know of, that either. Some, <laughs> somebody gave you notes. Somebody told me that yes. it was in the notes. Okay. Yes, there it is. Uh, uh, but we didn't want uh, Callum Lynch, who's the guy in the in present day, to be an inert um, figure, you know, when mm -hmm. he's experiencing his ancestral memories. We wanted him to be linked with Aguilar and for it to be a very physical experience. So we introduced the arm in the movie, which Ubisoft has said that they're going to now uh, bring into their game. Uh, so that's kind of nice. See? So you're like cross, Yeah, cross-pollinization. It's good. But, yes. Callum Lynch, this character. What a guy. He's to oh, he is. He's tortured. <laughs> yeah, he's tortured. Well, you know, he's had a tough life. Uh, basically, his parents taken away from him at a young age, in and out of... Um, you know, um, institutional sort of facilities, whether it be sort of uh, in his teens or in his adult life, he's, he's, he's suffered incarceration. In fact, when we meet him, uh, he's on death row and he's about to be executed. Um, so he's a very sort of cynical character, very I'd distrusting. Be yeah, I would be. Yeah, 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 no doubt. Uh, and it's only through his experience in the Animus and living. Uh, through the eyes of Aguilar, his ancestor, that he starts to realize that he belongs to something greater than himself, and he has this lineage to, to the brotherhood. But Aguilar's not ha basically lying back, you know, going to pubs there in Spain. He's got the Inquisition to deal with. He's a busy guy. He's a busy, he's a busy guy. guy. He's running he's around the place. He doesn't sit down for a cup of tea. You know, he's, he's on the go. Yeah. And Aguilar is, a, is, is, is the opposite of Cal. He's somebody mm -hmm. that uh, definitely, you know, is, is a disciple. So who do you uh, relate to the most? Of Neither. Neither? No. no. You're not for the good or the bad. That's You're right. You're somewhere like in that center yeah. depending on the day That's to right. do this. That's right. Or I don't have to really, you know, get involved. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's so it's good. Really, you know, just yeah. sit back and watch. <laughs> yeah, but in this movie... The creepy the, guy in the corner. I don't know if it's you or it's the stunt guy. It's but me. It's me. No, again, I, you I, know it this. has to be a lie. You know this. No, I, you maybe know this. on a good day. <laughs> you would say, I want to do that. I want to jump off that roof. Uh, I but can the do insurance this today. Company, Justin, I can do this. this, this I can do it. Yeah. yeah. A, lo a lot of the jumping, you're right, I didn't do. Um, <laughs> um, but I, you know, I had, I had some, you know, I had a foot massage usually on a day like that, that in my trailer, you know. <laughs> um, Maybe I had something to eat, you know. Sometimes I didn't even bother going to set if I knew that there was going to be something. Why should you? Could Skype in exactly. It. There's things to do. You <laughs> yeah, know. we know. There what was a nice pool at the today. hotel. Um, <laughs> no, I ended up doing 95% of uh, the fights myself. You're doing these fight scenes <laughs> with <laughs> other doing people them. that yeah. know not to hit you. They know not to hit me, but <clears> I'm allowed to hit them. It just comes up like that. It's just yeah. like yeah. yeah, yeah. You can do anything. Yeah, I can hit them. Wow. But I don't. <laughs> That's the Steven Seagal method. Is it? He's. He's, he's off yeah. on the side. Apparently, yeah, he punches a lot of the stunt guys in the nuts for real. <sighs> really? Yeah. Well, he, they must. You have, should have him on the show. They must have irked him. No, I think it's just his way. You know, that's why <laughs> oh, they oh, all. Sure they, that's why they all look terrified when please, in the Steven Seagal movies. They're going, you know, because they're afraid <laughs> of getting punched in the nuts. Coming. Do you ever get terrified? Did you get terrified on Assassin's Creed? No, no. <laughs> this face knows no fear. You, you know, I'm going to be serious <laughs> for ten seconds. 
and talk about the director <laughs> okay. of this movie, who oh, also, because yeah. this guy's what, really good. What a guy. You know, yeah. Because yeah. you could be, you say, I'm Fassbender, I've nominated for Academy That's Award. right. I have have you been nominated? That's yeah, right. have you? Yeah. Yeah. No, Justin. Yeah. You Justin, know, come on. You listen Twice to me. Yeah. But now, you've <laughs> talked, you've been working with this guy. Uh, who else do you, uh, Steve McQueen, that's it, mm -hmm. you know. I usually find out something personal about them, like take a photograph of a compromising position, and then I force them to work with me again. <laughs> that I get in the there reason. early, yeah, absolutely. The guy's doing Macbeth with you. Yeah, yeah. And then you say, let's do a video game. I was like, there's this small film called Assassin's Creed <laughs> that I, you know, it's been kicking around. I've got the script. Uh, are you interested? And um, he said, yeah, sure. I've got nothing else going on. What's his background? I have no idea. Don't, you I just don't, don't care about other yeah. people, no, do you? No, I don't. I don't you know, Are you the on the set? Do you have that rule that people can't look you directly in the eye? It depends. Some days they have to look me directly in the eye, and other days... they're acting Yeah, like they, they're not allowed to look me in the eye. The trick is to know when. You know, it's like, look at me, don't, don't look, look at me. me. So look this, at me, you're don't doing this to me. Marion Cotillard, your co-star in both of these. You're yes. saying, Marion, Sometimes don't in push actual it. scenes. I'm in like, don't look at me. So if you watch the movie, there's a lot of scenes where she's not looking at me. And for good reason now. We know that. <laughs> now I want to see There's clips a from this a little where inside it's just a cut away and, yeah. you know, she's just so sad about this. Yeah, she's sad, yeah. Why do, how do you live with uh, your reputation for doing this to other actors? Well, I find that it gives an edge, you know. Yeah, it, it brings a sort of energy. <laughs> it's just torture them in yeah, some way. That's right. To do it's that. manipulation. <laughs> you know this, Peter. You're a master manipulator, aren't you? I'm a Let's master manipulator. That's what, that's what it is. I can get people to lie to me like that. That's it's right. On a dime. I yeah. can just say. Yeah. You don't so like you the truth, do you? So you did this movie for free. You I know, did this right? movie for free. free. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Which I think was a mistake. Like, it is. <laughs> yeah. Well, now you do a lot of big movies. Come mm -hmm. on. You mm -hmm. just dropped my whole uh, Justin Kurtzel. Uh, I was trying to say was a whole how good about he him. is, and yeah. you just. That's right. Immediately, we're uninterested Who? in another person. <laughs> right? Yeah, I thought we were talking about me here. Come on. Yeah, wow. Please. You know, I mean. You know, if you want to talk about Justin Curzel, bring Justin Curzel just, on the just show. Bring him. Really. He's, he's a, a fundamental reason so much of this is. Yeah, I guess he's the working. director, so yeah. He had but you did go with him <laughs> from The Bard, from Shakespeare. From The Bard. To Indeed. Assassin's Indeed. Creed. I said, now we've Which tackled is, The Bard together, Justin. See, Let's do Assassin's you, Creed. You're so <laughs> Irish today. Yeah. Yeah. You think so? What are you, yeah. Was I German last time I came you were, in? You were very German. <laughs> it depends on your mood on a given day. That's true. But the German yeah. side. Does that scare you, the German side? A little. Okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> you know, very precise. You could do <laughs> um, <coughs> well, how, how do you grow up being those uh, two sides? I don't grow up. So you just never it, have? Yeah, make it my life's like mission not mission to grow to up. Mission to just be yeah. completely... Peter Pan. <laughs> it's so good. It's, it's works so, so well fun, for so it? many roles. It, you know, to be irresponsible your whole life. What do you could be feel, better? Do you feel responsible? Because people see you on the screen, they don't know they you think, like I do. Yeah. And they think, here's a guy. <laughs> here's a serious guy. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. You played some, some mean dude. <laughs> yeah, some troubled, and, some and, troubled people. And to your credit, though, I, I mean, very few people of your stature, as you just explained to me, you have. That's right. Yes. Thank you would do a movie like Frank and have a paper bag on their head through the whole thing. Yes, but I that also, you know, that was another thing. I could stay at the hotel, by the pool, you know, st you know throw anyone on set with the head on. I suspected on. you, you know were never I mean? there. Abs I was never there. <laughs> Just at the end, I took the, the mask the off. off. You know, I had to be there it. for that, unfortunately. People kept but saying, oh, what yeah, an actor. I had about the four posture, different Franks. He did it, he played four. it with Yeah, yeah. Anybody you got. You know, I had them come in. I would sort of train them every day, the sort of, you know, the Frank doubles. Well, it makes me just sort of want to go back and through and watch that it again. whole career. You should watch it and again. And see how you faked your way through <laughs> a playing. That's right. Even it's when you played Bobby Sands in Hunger. Yeah, faked it. Faked totally. it. Totally. So that CGI. was digital. CGI. Yeah, it was just. Yeah, we didn't use it in this film, but we used it in <clears> Hunger, which is kind of, there's an irony about it. But You know, that, now it's You don't even have to lose people. the weight anymore. I mean, you got a certain reputation when you did shame when you're playing a sex addict. Yes. Because you let everything hang out. That's but again, right. you didn't, did you? That's that wasn't me either. You see, there you go. <laughs> Sorry, ladies, those of you that were so intrigued. Yeah. Gentlemen and ladies, I'm sure yeah, they were yeah. all really concerned. Animals, not, whatever. Not you. So what motivates you besides the money? Um, not a great deal. I mean, <laughs> I think this is nice. It's nice, you know, you get to travel around and, mm -hmm. you know, stay in nice hotels. Um, mm -hmm. 
Because you eat in nice restaurants. You, know. you do. Yeah. You're living in hovels. You know. Back in London, then I guess yeah. everybody Hang out says, with high society. Everybody you know. says, I know this is a lie. Michael still lives in the dump that he lived in in yeah. London. I haven't lived there in maybe 10 years. <laughs> but you keep it. I never for lived like there, show. actually. In fact, I never lived there. Never no, lived no, in No, never, London. never. Wow. I've been in Buckingham Palace for the last 15 <laughs> years. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah, the Queen. And yeah. <laughs> just Sometimes when like there's a this. tour, people could catch me. You know. <laughs> When I'm, when I'm, you know, visiting the Queen, you know, wow. going there for breakfast, and we have soldiers, you know, boiled eggs. The this is the interview that will either destroy your career or make it. Oh, that's right. You know, I think yeah. basically it's... You're not recording you know, this, are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank all God. that goes, and Thank all we God. basically say is, I thought this was a, a really good movie. movie. Yeah, yeah. That, you didn't even see it, everything did you? Got, oh, you no, didn't even I watch it. Why do I have to watch it if you're you not stop, there? You stop. <laughs> if I'm not in it, why should you watch it? <laughs> Even be there. You played a movie critic once, didn't you? I did. Archie did. Hickox, yeah. In Inglorious Bastards. That's right. I just, yes. Sometimes was, you go that? into. You were kind of I went into this. Sort of German. You, you kind come. Of, but when you go between the German and the Irish, yeah. you sometimes visit uh, Great Britain. Yes. It does happen. Yeah, yeah. I and occasionally of. you'll visit America. Yes. Okay. Yes, I do. So I don't know if someone went to this flat you have in London, supposedly. Mm. Yeah. And woke you in the middle of the night, what voice would we hear? It could be something like. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like I'd like to dance so across really the So really sad for you. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. What was that from? Mm -hmm. What is it? With, with the voice that I just did. I'd have no idea. What was it? TV show, mm -hmm. 90s. Boom, 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 Wow, you've gone to the singing before the end of the show. You must be... What the hell is it? Twin Peaks. Oh, sure it is. Okay. Well, you can be doing that. It was Twin Peaks. Yeah, Twin Peaks. It just wasn't in Remember the guy in the red room? I do remember the yeah. show, but I didn't. But no, come on. Now, now I feel shamed and. No, you don't. <sighs> no, no, I really don't. I really don't. All right, well then, I will professionally return to the start okay. of what I said and yes. ask you to tell that world out there. I guess they're over at that camera. Um, why they should see Assassin's Creed? Why, at the end of the year, when they have multitudes of choices? Right, well, number Should one. Should they say, screw the rest of those things, yeah. Star Wars, now, yeah. please? Why should they be seeing Assassin's Creed? Well, you know, they're going to be at home. Christmas, as lovely as it is, you get cooped up in the house. You know, uh, there's a certain element of boredom there. Mm -hmm. What better way to break that boredom than to go to the cinema and to see Assassin's Creed? It's going to change your life. It's, it's a film for everyone. You know, babies particularly love this film. They, I, I think say, they, you know, they infants, probably would. You know, you know, five and under. Gives them definitely. comforting sounds yeah, and they, things they, to they do. Just, uh, they, they respond to it. I, I don't know why. I don't know why you either. Know? I, I, you know, I'm at going the to beginning, when I talked to, to the marketing people, they were like, the demographic, I said, babies are going to love this movie. See, again, you shock us with yeah. your insights yeah. into whatever happens. Well, you know. It's a brand how new demographic. It's. You know, maybe not. I see people maybe dragging not, babies yeah. to yeah. the movie. Yeah. And they like movies with don't, that don't wake their babies up. Mm -hmm. I think this might. This is loud. It's loud, yeah. so it might do it. But so we, it's we've so loud it actually puts them to sleep. Okay, I gave you the opportunity, yeah. so you have told the world that it's good for babies. It's good for babies. And it's loud. And it's loud. And it's loud, so there's no more. Uh, loud and good for babies. Loud Michael and good for Fashman. babies. Uh, you should go see it. It's going to change your life. That's Excellent. also what I said. Yeah, well, definitely. It is. It's a lot. And what better thing to do at Christmas? Get out of the house. You know, bring some people with you. Go to the cinema. Go to the cinema. Yeah. Well, then, as we always do here, we end in song. You oh, really excellent. completely, you, you, well, you did. Remember you were here with James McAvoy. Who I was sure like do. He refusing to sing. He refused he to sing. He said to me, He's I'm, such not, a spoiled I'm not a dancing monkey. You know? What, what? That's what he said. Is he, where is he from? Pakistan? That, that was my Pakistan. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. <laughs> yeah. I thought I did a good McAvoy. Well, he's Scottish. I don't know. He was Scottish, you know, and yeah. you thought it was Pakistan. Okay. I, yeah, it's Fine. somewhere. Unprovoked personal attack. I'll take it. Well, you know, I, I was just responding to what I heard. Heard. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's all one can do. So what are we going to say? That's all here? I can do. What, what should we do? 
You did a medley. I did two little boys last time, didn't I? Yeah, so you can't do that. Can't do that again. I don't want to repeat. No, nobody wants to hear that again. So you something that Callum Callum Lynch would be listening to in his head when he's not thinking, killing himself. Crazy. Let's sing crazy together. He did that. We can do that. Okay, Patsy Klein. Okay, I'll be Willie. You be Patsy. I can do it. I think. Shall I start? You should start. Crazy. I'm crazy for feeling so lonely. And I'm crazy, crazy, crazy. for feeling so blue. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Worry, worry. Why do I let myself so worry? worry? Wondering what, what in, in the, the world, world did I do? do? Cause I'm, I'm crazy, crazy for crying. Crazy for dying, and, and for I'm crazy for loving you. Wow, the Pakistani that? version of Patsy <laughs> Klein. Wow, no one will top that. That was beautiful. And when you see people, when you see Assassin's Creed, you will get to hear, um, you will get to hear that. Michael sing that in yeah. a completely different way. In a different way. It but was it, as if you were strangling when you were singing. Yeah, yeah. There was, you know, there was, it was, there was memories in that song for Cal. I, Deep memories. I think so. Yeah. Loud memories. Yes. And yet. Loud. Loud and good for babies. Good for babies. Michael. Peter. I do not know what this oh, was. Peter. I have no concept of what it was. Don't know how you're going to it. But it was great. It was great. It can't be edited. It's just. <laughs>